In today's video, I'd love to share with you my May Skin Highlights. This is a series that I've been doing for over a year where I share the skincare that has been grabbing my attention for good reasons and bad reasons. But before we get into that, I'd love to let you know who I am, just in case you don't know. My name is Ijoma. I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a pro makeup artist, and a woman of a certain age. And I feel like all these things give me the authority to do what I'm doing on my channel. Before we get into it, I am filming during the day. The lighting is going to try and play games with me. Exercise patience with me, please. Let's first start with something that brings me immense joy. And like all good things, it must come to an end. I'll explain myself. This is the Night Repair from Bumi. This is a beautiful product. One of my staples. One of the best balms I've ever used. But unfortunately, Bumi is now closing up shop. So it's a little bit bittersweet for me right now when it comes to Bumi. But it is well. I've been using the Night Repair all throughout the month of May. Simply for the sake of finishing it up, I like to be mindful about my skincare. If things are open, if I feel like uh, it's time to finish you up, it's time to finish you up. A delightful, light, healing and soothing balm. As I said, I have loved it for a long time. It makes me incredibly happy. Right now, Bumi is running a closing down sale. So please do feel free to check her website out right now. If there's anything I've ever mentioned from Bumi that you'd like to try and you have not tried, or you already use Bumi and you didn't know and it's time to buy, do the necessary. Some of the fabulous ingredients in this is shea butter, hemp, cucumber seed oil, broccoli seed oil, there's also vitamin E in this. It's just a glorious product, the way it melts into the skin, it doesn't clog the skin up. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it when I can't get it and it's okay. Good things do come to an end. Let's do two products that come from the same brand and said brand is Disciple. This is a brand that I've been watching for quite some while. I bought a few products in April and soon after they sent me some PR. I'm so grateful. This I bought myself and this is the Clean and Serene Cleanser. It's beautiful. It was love at first use. It is one of those mindfully made cleansers. The consistency, the experience, it feels beautiful on the skin. A moussey, bouncy texture. It just rinses off like a dream. I love the packaging, even though it's slightly impractical. But I love it. It's green as well. Green is one of my favorite colors. Now it sells itself to be slightly above just a bog standard cleanser. This has melon, it has grapefruit. The melon is meant to rejuvenate the skin. The grapefruit is meant to detox the skin. There's also vitamin C from papaya extracts that is meant to brighten and tone the skin. Now when it comes to cleansers, I don't really attach myself to the claims. After all, I simply want to cleanse my skin. But this is giving what it's meant to give. It's an experience. It feels beautiful on the skin. The scent is there. I really like the other ingredients that are in this. There's also aloe, there's glycerin, and gentle surfactants in the place of SLS. Now, it is marketed as a morning cleanser, and I know why. Disciple has another cleanser in their line that is a cleansing oil that has AHAs, and they market that as the evening cleanse. Regardless, I do think you can use this morning and evening. All skin types will love Love this if you have oilier skin and you insist on using a foaming cleanser in the morning you're going to love this it is just right I've been enjoying it mostly for my evening cleansers because I don't really use foaming cleansers during the day I mean in my morning routine but I love this and I definitely recommend it and I also really like the price I think it's about 20 pounds 21 pounds somewhere there it's giving what it's meant to give this packaging, beautiful ingredients, tick, tick, tick. It feels beautiful on the skin. What more do we want? Now let's do the good skin from Disciple. Now this sells itself as an oil serum, which I'm okay with because the ingredients in this are top notch. And calling this an oil serum also aligns with the brand's ethos because there's a lot of simplicity when it comes to Disciple. The ingredients in Good Skin have been chosen to help balance oily skin, contribute to keeping hormones balanced as well, and to also fight bacteria. 
and I really like all of those claims. For me personally, it was giving me balanced skin. The skin was never too oily. The skin felt happy. It felt like it was enough. And the ingredients just made me feel like, oh, there's antioxidants in my skincare. And I love antioxidants in my skincare. Some of the ingredients in good skin are rosemary and tea tree, which contribute to balancing oily skin. There's turmeric as well, which is a healer of the skin. There's burdock root, which helps fight bacteria. And there's also geranium and lavender. It's a delightful oil. The scent is earthy, sweet, slightly woody. I've enjoyed it so much that I know I'm going to have a full bottle of this. This particular size that I have comes in their Discovery set and I believe this is 15ml. I'm not 100% sure. One more smell, but I know that I want the full size. A little qualm with the full size. The full size is 20ml. And I don't know how I feel about that. And it's 23 pounds. It's not breaking the bank, but I wish it was 30ml. Regardless, I want good skin back in my life. This is a really good oil. And the name is just right. The name is just right. This is good skin in a bottle. Now let's talk about something from my beloved Superdrug. This is an anti-blemish overnight serum with 2% salicylic acid. Oh, this is lovely. This does the job. It just gets in there. This thoroughly impressed me during the month of May. It just feels really good on the skin. It is not irritating. It heals the skin. I remember I had a spot that was trying to be disrespectful. And I put just a little bit on my finger, tapped over that spot. This was around 11 o'clock. And by the end of the day, that spot was soothed and gone. It wasn't 100% gone, but it was gone in two days. I'm sold. The ingredient deck is surprisingly really good. There's aloe in this, there's glycerin, there's rose water, there's a salicylic acid, of course. There's even a derivative of zinc, and zinc also helps heal and soothe acne-prone skin. There's lots of other ingredients in these, but I've done my research, and a lot of them are simply to make the product feel good and to stabilize the formula. There's also extracts of basil and milk thistle which are antimicrobial and add a touch of antioxidants to this. This has impressed me. The price, the ingredients, the efficiency. I really, really like this. Now, I don't know if I like the packaging or rather the dispensing mechanism, this nozzle situation. I don't know if I like that, but I like this product enough to want to review the entire range. I want to try everything in that range because I've tried something else and I've loved it. I've tried this. I love it. Are we sleeping on something amazing? Possibly. Regardless, I recommend this. If you have oily skin, acne prone skin, um, you just like to be on top of your pores with a bit of salicylic acid because that's the strength of salicylic acid just to help clean out the pores. Definitely recommend. Such a lovely little thing. I've got two K-Beauty products with me. Let's start with the Innistree Clear Skin 8% AHA Essence for normal or dry skin. Scrap that. <laughs> All skin types can use this. I love this. This was also love at first use. It is incredibly hydrating and that's exactly how I like my exfoliation situation to be. You've, you cannot dry out my skin. You cannot aggravate my skin. I just want you to exfoliate it. Please behave yourself. <laughs> Now the AHAs in this are lactic and glycolic acid and they also contribute to keeping the skin hydrated because AHAs are humectants, they draw moisture into the skin. There's also quite a few extracts in this contributing to the antioxidant factor of this product. There is licorice, there's green tea, there's aloe, there's calendula, there's also aloe juice and sodium hyaluronate. I mean, let's talk about moisturizing the skin. There's aloe, there's AHA, there's sodium hyaluronate. Tick, tick, tick. Ah, this is good. This is juicy skin in a bottle. This is polished, juicy skin in a bottle. I love this product. I love it enough to know that next time I am K-Beauty shopping, I am probably going to get two bottles of this so I can have them in my backup. Love, 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 love. 
I recommend this for all skin types as I said in the beginning I recommend this for people who like to exfoliate every day even though I don't recommend it but the fact that it's so hydrating if you're mindful with your exfoliation and you understand why you need to exfoliate every day you probably like this I feel like skincare newbies will also like this by using maybe once a week love highly recommend so happy to have met this product next up is the one thing brassica italica extract now this is a brand i discovered on instagram and it's very toner heavy and i absolutely love toners so it was inevitable that i was going to try this the marketing campaign was absolutely phenomenal it was hard to ignore this brand now the strength of this toner is that it has only one ingredient and that is the brassica italica extract which is broccoli extract all the other ingredients in this have been put in to simply preserve the product to make the product emollient and to also act as humectants why do i like this because i love antioxidants in my skin and i'm always willing to try something new and i feel like this has been doing the thing for me it's a nice background player it's just giving me balanced skin like this month that has been or rather the month of may balanced skin has been the theme of my skincare it just my skin just feels happy balance even the breakout i had mentioned that was the only breakout that happened in that month the skin was happy back to the brassica italica extract <laughs> it smells like roast vegetables as well and that also kind of amused me it might put off some people but it, it was okay i, I kind of get the point after all it's broccoli <laughs> so of course it's gonna smell like vegetables who do I think this is for? Anyone who loves to try new skincare. Um, if you love toners like me, jump on it. Is it a game changer for me? Probably not, but it made me happy. If anything, I know I want to try more from this brand. I definitely want to try more from this brand. One thing is definitely a brand to check out. If you just like the idea of single ingredient products, if that really piques your interest, check out one thing last but not least this is the kaeso beauty rebalancing facial kit now i'm simply mentioning this because this is something i took out to do kind of like a first impressions on my instagram follow me on instagram if you want first impressions of skincare i really don't like filming first impressions because it kind of doesn't make sense I rather come with a review on here and then on Instagram we can do first impressions anyway Kaeso Beauty is a brand I've known for quite some time their offerings are targeted towards those who do facials in salons and spas they are not particularly medical grade and by medical grade I mean high performance targeted skincare they're for those relaxing pleasant facials that just leave you with clean soft skin they don't really target particular issues and there is a place for that in the spa it's not every facial that you go for has to target a particular issue sometimes you just want to go and relax even though they say they are sold exclusively for salons and spas these products are available to the general public the price point is absolutely fantastic. The, I feel like KSO Beauty has something for everyone. They have three kits, the rebalancing one that I've just shown you. They have a hydrating line and they also have a calming line. I'm really interested in trying the calming line. I've tried the hydrating line and it didn't change my life. Um, I feel like I like the calming one. Anyway, let's refocus back to the rebalancing one. I would give the entire range a B plus. I near enough like everything. I don't love everything. The only thing that I would say I super duper love is the cleanser. And I believe I mentioned this cleanser in my last skincare highlights. Love this cleanser. Spa-like experience. Beautiful fresh cucumber scent. It rinses off the skin lovely. It's been making my mornings very, very nice. Really, really like this. I think what would be more productive is that if I did a short and sweet video on this rebalancing kit and that way I would be able to share my full thoughts, my opinions, talk about ingredients and suggest who or rather what is for who 
let me say that again <laughs> and suggest what product is for who and that's that these are the skincare products that have been standing out to me in the month of may i hope you find some value in this video so you can do a little bit of happy shopping down below in the description box i will make sure to link every product i've talked about don't forget to follow me on instagram it's quite good there you know i do short and sweet mini reviews first impressions all focus on british skincare the snippets of food as well you know we like to eat round here <laughs> thank you so much for being here my name is ijama and i'll see you soon